Would you buy a ticket for a tour of San Francisco's Doom Loop? We're talking about some of the worst areas of the city of San Francisco filled with crime and grime. Would you actually pay good money to go and gawk at all that mess? Well, coming up, there's actually a tour operator that's selling tickets. I'm Carl DeMaio, Chairman of Reform California. And after years of seeing businesses fleeing the city of San Francisco because of the grime, the crime, the high cost of living, and many, many other problems to boot, there finally seems to be one business that's very interested in setting up shop and growing in the city. Disaster tourism. That's right. There's actually a tour operator that's purportedly selling tickets for a doom loop tour. And there's actually questions on whether or not this is a stunt or is it real? And it's offending some of the local residents because they say, look, you know, we're a great city. People should come and enjoy us for all the other reasons besides the crime and grime. But seriously, this story is um, in NBC Bay Area. It says doom loop tour in San Francisco's Tenderloin District raises questions. And by the way, the Tenderloin is an area of San Francisco. Um, it used to be very nice, historic. Now it's a hellhole. Um, but the Tenderloin uh, might be arguably the worst of the worst, but the entire city is, is, is doom. And uh, there's a tour operator that has posted an opportunity on the Eventbrite website, selling tickets for $30 a pop uh, to show visitors uh, just how bad things are in San Francisco. So I'm going to play this video uh, and then we'll react on the other side. We know this morning, the promise of a new San Francisco tour that will probably never include a standard double-decker bus. It's not a typical tour here. This one is actually called the Doom Loop Tour and it is getting national attention for really all the wrong reasons. Yeah, the By the way, I would insist on a double-decker bus because I wouldn't want to be caught uh, walking the streets of San Francisco, you'd probably get a communicable disease or get knifed to death. It is there. They're hoping to spotlight what they call the worst parts of the city. Today in the Bay's Ginger Connor Harrell Saab in our newsroom this morning. And Ginger, we're guessing that there's also a larger message in play here. That's right, Marcus and Laura. Uh, there is a cloud of mystery around this tour. It is getting a lot of attention. It's a post on Eventbrite, and it says that for $30, this tour will show visitors all the shadows of San Francisco. The tour is scheduled to happen this Saturday, August 26th, but some are questioning its legitimacy because there is very little information on the organizer of the event who calls themselves SF Anonymous. I've actually reached out to Eventbrite to see if they can verify the event but have not heard back. Now, one man is reacting to this. His name is Del Seymour, who he's lived and advocated for the Tenderloin community for years. And he says he is specifically conducting a Tenderloin walking tour to answer back. By me showing up that day across the street from this tour with my group of folks, we want to engage. We'll just have a pleasant, typical tour where we'll have fun and we'll celebrate this community. Wait, a typical tour of the Doom Loop? Uh, let me guess, Stuck, stepping over dead people, inebriated people, people lying in their own vomit, drug, uh, used drug needles. Uh, you're going to have to make sure you have no valuables on you because you'll be jumped uh, in some sort of uh, sidewalk robbery. A fun day walking through the Tenderloin. Uh, yeah, that's... That's not happening. Um, unless you're like filming a Walking Dead movie, there's no reason to be in the Tenderloin of San Francisco. We don't like some of the conditions in the Tenderloin. We want the Tenderloin to be better ourselves. Now, it's not anything new. The Tenderloin walking tours have been around for almost two decades, touring buildings and sharing the history behind places like Glide Memorial, the Tenderloin Museum, St. Anthony's Kitchen, and St. Boniface, a church in the neighborhood. By the a way, Seymour, uh, who is th that's all correct. People used to go to San Francisco uh, because it was a great tourist destination. Not anymore. Uh, and so when they say, oh, yeah, you know, walking tours are common. Yeah, Back in the day when it was actually a functioning city, now it's complete hell. It's completely um, uh, gripped in anarchy, crime, and grime. Um, it just shows what this city has basically given up 
in exchange for this far left regime of policies that have brought nothing but damage. The known community leader and advocate for the unhoused and those fighting addiction on the streets of the TL says he wants to send a different message to the Doom Loop tour goers. The Tenderloin community, he says, is not what you think. If I got a donut, I'll break it in half. That's that's I, I appreciate your optimism, dude, but you've been an advocate for the homeless and the drug community. Maybe that's part of the problem as to why you have so many problems in the Doom Loop uh, in your community. Maybe you're just wrong. Maybe you're wrong to say that homelessness is a human right, that that you shouldn't have, you know, that, that you, sh you shouldn't be able to clear out shelters uh, or uh, clear out sidewalks uh, of homeless people who are literally lying there um, uh, in an inebriated state, in a, in a drugged out state. They desperately need help. But he's probably one of those guys that says, no, no, you can't you can't clear these people out. People have a right to, to sit on the sidewalk. Um, he's probably a supporter of the left wing politicians. He's probably never voted anything but straight Democrat ticket all of his life. Um, so while I'm sure he's probably thinking he's well intended, I think he probably has a lot of his fingerprints on the murder weapon, uh, literally, uh, of uh, what was once a great city, San Francisco. Um, he's terribly misguided. And the idea that, oh, no, you know, what you're seeing in the Doom Loop tour is not real. It's really a great place. It's not a great place. It's hell. It's absolute hell. We are breaking the half community. No one else does the things that we do. Well, if you check well, that event, right. Bright Post, Nobody Doom Loop tour. Nobody does things that they do in the, in the Tenderloin. That, that, that is the understatement of the century. Uh, says that it's sold out. It says that tickets were going for $30. Wow. Dell says the Tenderloin walking tour, he says it's free and he'll even throw in a free lunch in, from a place, from one of the places in the Tenderloin if you want to go check it out. Uh, he says it, you know, it's one of the tours that is really uh, tailor made depending on the group that goes uh, in it. And again, it's been around for a really long time. We'll have to sit and wait until Saturday to see how this all plays out. Marcus okay. and Laura. Okay. So, so that is, that is, uh, right. That is the story. Um, look, I am I am being a little sarcastic here. It's, it, I believe that it's a real tour. Um, I think someone's being quite clever. They're trying to make a point that things are really bad. I actually have some suspicions as to who might be organizing uh, the Doom Loop tour. Um, they uh, they seem to be a political activist um, that's you know, wanting to draw attention to the problems and and perhaps uh, fight for change. But the reality is this. Whenever you're driving uh, on the freeway and there's a really bad accident, yeah, people do slow down and they gawk and they watch. Nobody wants to admit it. Uh, but San Francisco is the worst car accident on the side of the road that you've ever imagined. It's complete horrific. And uh, you've got to understand that the uh, well-intentioned activists that we saw in that, that news piece there um, is so misguided in trying to, to defend the conditions there. Um, and probably advocates for a lot of the policies that have led to those problems. So I think the more attention on this, the better. The question that I would like to ask you is, would you buy a ticket for a Doom Loop tour? I wouldn't. Uh, I already have seen enough on TV. I don't need to see any more. Um, it, uh, it, it's probably a very risky undertaking. Um, it's just not something for me. But it does highlight the fact that the only new business that seems to be generated in San Francisco today um, relates to drug dealing, uh, building expensive homeless uh, government subsidized housing projects, a million dollars a pop, uh, motel owners who are turning over their motel rooms to homeless people uh, at taxpayer expense, um, and of course, disaster tourism. Now, if you're sick and tired of this mess in San Francisco and you're worried that it's spreading statewide, and it is spreading statewide, join us at Reform California in the fight to restore some sanity to every part of our state. Go to restorepublicsafety.org, restorepublicsafety.org, and that is a landing page for one of our Reform California campaigns advocating uh, tougher enforcement, a uh, tough on crime approach in California a reform of Prop 47 and Prop 57, which has led to a spike in crime, and of course, giving tools for law enforcement to deal with the homeless epidemic. Those are the only ways for us to clean up the mess in the doom loop and prevent that mess uh, from getting uh, around to every part of our state. 
So go to restorepublicsafety.org to join that campaign. Continue to check out our latest stories at reformcalifornia.org. Like this video. Yes, it is a little tongue in cheek, but like this video. Comment in the section below if you would take a Doom uh, Loop tour, if you would pay 30 bucks to buy a ticket for that. Um, Help us get this video out uh, by liking and subscribing to our YouTube channel or this social media channel that you're watching the video on. Until next time, this is Carl DeMaio with Reform California. Thanks for watching. Help us break through the censorship of the liberal media by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.